Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God so much for this morning. Let's share a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your word that, oh God, is coming to us. We pray that your ancient word will impact our lives this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that you will speak unto us, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, we thank God for the month and the season of Pascaris. Hallelujah. Pascaris, all grace. Amen. If you are not in Kingdom Harvesters Ministries, when we say Pascaris, it means all grace. Hallelujah. It means all grace. We believe that grace, God has given us different kinds of graces many sided graces amen it is not just one grace hallelujah we have the prevenient grace we have the saving grace hallelujah then we have the grace to become and even the grace to become the enabling grace we have different kind of graces amen we welcome you all to today's service our live stream audience we welcome you um, all of us in-house, you are welcome. I want to say a big thank you to our daddy. I am grateful for all the opportunities. Hallelujah. God bless us all for even coming to today's service. This morning, I speak to you on grace to pascaris to qualify. Pascaris to qualify. All grace. All grace to qualify hallelujah amen yeah so the fall of man okay the fall of man when the um, the fall of man made man to lose hallelujah to lose our opportunity or our grace to come before god amen when god created man our God is a perfect God and he created a perfect man. Hallelujah. God created a perfect man and planted him in the garden of Eden in the person of Adam. Hallelujah. And Adam had no want. He had no need because everything was provided for him in the garden of Eden. The animals were there, the sea, everything. Amen. If he wants to relax, he can go to the sea or water side and just relax. The waterfalls and all that, they were there. If he wants to eat the plants, everything was there for Adam. Amen. But then, man fell hallelujah man fell and when man fell he could not assess all that he could assess at first hallelujah amen he could assess anything but when he fell man relinquished his authority to satan amen and so after man fell man relinquished his authority to satan and we became slaves to sin amen we became slaves to sin that is why when you go to romans 3 23 it says that for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of god for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of god because of sin we lost several of the graces that was bestowed upon us but we thank god for the second adam hallelujah we thank god for the second adam who came in the person of jesus christ to rescue you and i hallelujah had it not been for the grace of god had it not been for jesus christ the bible says that he was full of grace he is grace hallelujah had it not been for grace where would you have been and where would i have been hallelujah I was getting ready for this message you know i was just um i mean my mind went back to when i was young 
when I was little. I mean, let's say at the age, because I was around class two, class three. So let's say seven, eight years. And I remember I could just get up, especially on Saturdays, and then take my Bible. And I would tell my parents, I'm going for evangelism. And I will leave the house. The other day I was even discussing sharing it with um, daddy. And I will leave the house. And I will go. And you know, there were these girls who came from, you know, the, I was, I was um, um, in Nigeria then. We were in Nigeria. And so there were these girls who came to my school. And I realized they were not Christians. You know, and I put it on myself that, you know, these girls must accept Jesus Christ. And so as young as I was, I would get up, take my Bible, I would tie my scarf, and then I would leave the house. And where these girls were staying, it was in some bush. You know, some bush. I don't want to mention the work of the parents, but some bush. And then I would go there. These people... I don't know, they, don't, they were not Christians, they didn't believe in my God and everything. And I will go to these people, and I will go and talk to them, and I will leave, I will finish and I will play with them as a child. I will play and I will come back to my house. And I was just thinking, what if these people kidnapped me? What if people, these people killed me? Because I'll tell them, I'm going for evangelism. They knew I was around the area. But I wasn't. I was somewhere else. And I'll go and I'll go and preach and I'll come back to the house. It is just by grace. I was this morning, I was close to Jesus. I was like, hey God. So if something had happened to me, my parents wouldn't have known when I, where I was. But his grace kept me. His grace kept me. I remember there was one I was going to school and I don't even know what happened. But a big truck, a big truck. Everybody thought I was dead. But by the time I realized I was on the other side of the road, how I got there, I don't know. Even me, myself, I was shaking. People had started crying. That was in Accra, Mungwa. That one, so I wasn't, even that one, it means I wasn't up to seven, seven or eight. So I don't know. But God saved me. My dear brothers and sisters, think back. Think back where God has brought you from. Where you were and where God has brought you from. And where he has gotten you to where you are now. Ebenezer, this is how far God has brought us. Hallelujah. Good, this is how far God has brought us. It has not been an easy road. It has not been an easy road. When I look at my mom, the things she has been through, the kind of job she has done, and I look at her today, I just say thank you, Jesus, for keeping my mom alive up till now. Let's look back. Sometimes it pays to look back. When we look back at where God has brought us from and where we are today, it will help us to appreciate him. Hallelujah. Amen. And so the fall of man made us relinquish that authority. That blessing that we didn't have to worry or think about certain things, you know. But then we thank God for the blood of Jesus. We thank God for the second Adam. Hallelujah. Amen. And then when we look at all the men of old that God called, God used, God we realize the men and women of old, we realize that it was grace. Grace, hallelujah. It was the grace of God that came upon them. It was the grace of God that came upon them. Hallelujah. When we talk about the grace of God, for those of us in, in Kingdom Harvesters, we define grace as the divine influence upon the heart. 
and its reflection in the life of an individual. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The divine influence upon the heart. And then the manifestation, the physical manifestation, whatever influence, whatever ideas, whatever thought, whatever USPs, whatever God has put in us. Hallelujah. Upon the heart. And it's reflection, that thing reflecting for all eyes to see. That thing reflecting, manifesting for all eyes to be blessed. Hallelujah. We realize that our men and women of old who came before us, even our, our forefathers who served God, you realize that it was the grace of God that came upon them to do the things that they did, to fulfill the mandate that they fulfilled, hallelujah, for some of us to come and enjoy, amen, for some of us to come and enjoy. Bible says that Jesus Christ, he was full of grace, hallelujah, Jesus Christ, he was full of grace, and because he was full of grace, he was able to give us grace for grace, hallelujah, amen, and if Jesus Christ, Christ, our Messiah, our Redeemer, he needed grace in time. When Jesus Christ came in time, in this earth, on this earth, Bible says he was full of grace. He needed grace. He didn't need half grace. He didn't need quarter grace. He was full of grace. Hallelujah. And so if Jesus Christ was full of grace, then you and I, we need Raviah. Hallelujah. We need Raviah grace. We need an overflow of grace. Receive an overflow of grace this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In our time, we need the graces of God to survive. When we look at the things going on around us, when we look at the economy, when we look at how man has become wicked. When I say man, human beings, how we have become wicked. The other day on the news, I saw a woman who had killed her own parents. Her own parents that gave birth to her and saw her through school and everything. And she's now an adult. She was able to kill the mother because of what? Properties. May God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When we look at how the world has become, when we look at how kids are becoming and all that, you realize that we need grace, grace to even raise our children. You can read all the books on parenting. You can go to all the um, 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 counseling sessions on, on, on um, raising up kids, parenting. You can do whatever. You can go to YouTube, everything on how to parent or being a parent but it takes grace it takes grace because people have done all that but their children didn't end up well and there are people who didn't even go to school but because of the grace of god their kids are doing well it is by grace it is by grace Hallelujah. It is by grace. And so for us to survive in these trying times, to survive in these perilous times, we need pastoris. Hallelujah. Turn to your brother or sister and say, you need pastoris. If you are alone, tell yourself that I need pastoris. I need pastoris. Hallelujah. We need pastoris in time on this earth to survive. And I believe we need an overflow, not just, but not just, just, we need all graces. Hallelujah. We need all the graces to survive. If we need all the graces, when it comes to academics, that the grace of God is there. When it comes to our marriage, the grace of God is there. When it comes to our relationships, the grace of God is there. When it comes to our business, businesses, the grace of God is there. Hallelujah. When it comes to our kids, the grace of God is there. When it comes to our spouses, the grace of God is there. When it comes to our careers, the grace of God is there. When it comes 
comes to our health, the grace of God is there. Hallelujah. Because there are people who have money, but money cannot buy health. Hallelujah. It is just by grace. That thing, that sickness, that, that came on you, that you survived. Somebody went through the same thing and died. It is just by grace. It is not by your skill. It is not just by your prayer. There are people who could pray, who can pray more than you. They prayed. They were, they were righteous more than you. But they still died. It is just by grace. Hallelujah. It is just by grace. That is why we must not boast of ourselves. Hallelujah. But we must boast in the Lord. Amen. And so when we, um, we're going back to Romans 3, 23, because of the fall of man, Bible says we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But when we say falling short of the glory of God, apart from when we say we, you have, we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, Apart from the normal sin, sinning against God, when we talk about sin and falling short, we are also talking about our inadequacies. Hallelujah. We are talking about our insufficiencies. We are talking about our shortcomings. Hallelujah. Because when man was in the garden, he was perfect. God said, name the animals. He was able to name them. Ta -ta -ta -ta, just like that. He was able to name them. God said, take care of them. Have dominion over them. And he was doing just that. Everything was perfect. Amen. Everything was perfect. But when man sins, so when we talk about sin, our inadequacies, our shortcomings, you realize that we all lack something. We all lack something on this earth. Amen. Somebody might be full in health. When it comes to health, you realize that you are full in health, very healthy. But when it comes to your bank account, it is empty. Hallelujah. You, somebody, when it comes to maybe academic works and you sit in the classroom, you don't even need to take notes. You will just get everything correct like that. But maybe you have even finished your PhD and you are struggling to get a job. Maybe you even have a first class and you don't understand why you are not getting a job. Hallelujah. Amen. And so somebody might be lacking in getting a job. But when it comes to the academics, that person is very, very okay. When it comes to even discipline. Hallelujah. When it comes to even discipline, you realize that you are disciplined in an area, but in certain areas, you are not disciplined. Hallelujah. When maybe it comes to um, 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 discipline in prayer, you realize that, oh, you are there. But when it comes to obedience, very, very disciplined. Amen. Maybe when it comes to um, um, coming to church early. Ah, it is not, it is not, but you are very, very indisciplined there. But when it comes to going to work and being the first at work, you realize that you are disciplined there because at the end of the day, you will get cash, but you forget that it is the grace of God that is able to help you wake up. It is the grace of God that helps you to walk. It is the grace of God that helps you sit in your car and then you drive and you go to work. But the little time that we have to give to God, we give him just, you know, the leftovers. Let me sleep when it is uh, church starts at 6.30. Let me leave the house at 7. By then they have finished everything. By the time I get to church at 7.30, maybe the preaching has started midway. So I won't keep long in church. In about 30 minutes, I'll leave the church. Even then, you have put your fufu and everything on the fire. And so let me quickly go and come in. I'm not saying we shouldn't eat. Some of us, we have the grace to eat. Amen. Some people have the grace to eat. Some don't have the grace. To, they don't even have the appetite to eat. If you can eat... <laughs> Hallelujah. Please don't, don't overeat, but then if you have appetite to eat, it is, a, it is the grace of God. There are people at the hospitals, they have to put tubes through them before they can eat. There are people who cannot even eat because they have small little stomachs. And so you are eating solids. They can't even eat solids. Hallelujah. It is the grace of God. Amen. Amen. And so we realize that we all have different needs. We, ha we all have different needs. 
My need might be different from yours. What you need might be different from your brother or your sister. That is why you must not play down on anybody's need. Hallelujah. That is why you must not play down on anybody's need. Somebody's need is marriage. Somebody's need is money. Somebody's need is to upgrade, to be able to get money to upgrade his or herself. Hallelujah. Somebody's need is to give birth. Somebody's need is to travel. Somebody's need is to be able to serve God well. Hallelujah. Even serving God, we need the grace of God to serve God well. There are people who are not able to serve God well. Hallelujah. There are people who are not able to serve God well. We need the grace, even in our families, we need the grace to break limitations. We need the grace of God. We need pastors to break limitations. You go into certain families and everybody at a certain age, they have to die. There is nothing like longevity of life in that family. Everybody at most, I was there that I was reading or listening to someone in their family. Everybody, the, the highest they can go, 51, and they all die. 51, and they will all go. The one who got to 51 and they thought that, oh, she has made it. Oh, by the time she got to 52, she too, she went and everybody was surprised. You go to some families. If you marry, you can't give birth. But if you, you are not married, that one, any man you sleep with, you can give birth. They are all limitations and we need the grace of God to break those limitations. You go into certain families and then you realize that after SHS, after secondary school, nobody has been able to graduate. You need the grace of God to break that status quo. You need the grace of God to break that limitation. Hallelujah. Amen. You go into certain families and you realize that they come out well. Oh, you go to university. You get good jobs. You realize that ah, they are top there on the ladder. But by the time they get to their middle age, they get to their 40s, 50s, you realize that there is a no, no side. And then everything starts going away. Going, and by the time you realize, they end up being non-entities. It happens in some families. Hallelujah. You go into certain families, you realize that everybody that goes into marriage will get a divorce. Everybody that goes into marriage will get a divorce. Everybody. Everybody, you will try and try and try and try, but you still end up getting divorced. We need the grace of God to break those status quo. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. To declare, say that I receive the grace to break all status quo in my family. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Amen. Receive the grace, receive pastors to break all limitations in your family. Hallelujah. Amen. And we realize that because of some of these things that happen because of our different needs and all that, if you are not careful, you get to a point and you think that some people are even better than you. You feel that some people are better than you. You feel that, oh, as for you, um, you, you are not qualified. You think that, oh, as for you, even some of us, because of some of these things, some of us, poverty, poverty, since we were born up to date, poverty, there, there is no day that you can say that, ah, as for today, I have money, I have all that I need, I, ah, uh, today, I'm eating what I want to eat, you are always eating what you need to eat, to survive, paying of school fees, it is a struggle, Buying of clothes, it is a struggle and all that. And you see that some people to their desperate, it's not that you have gone to sin. It's not that you have gone to, you know, fornicate. It's not that you have gone to do something against God. You are trying to serve God in your own small way. And you are like, ah, what is all this? If you are not careful, low self-esteem will set in. Because you, you saw your grandparents, you saw them struggle. You saw your parents struggling. And it's like, ah, you too, you are struggling. No, you need the grace of God to overcome all this, to break all this, hallelujah, amen, and because of that, sometimes we feel inadequate, we feel unqualified, we feel we are not good enough, 
Hallelujah. We feel we, we are not good enough. We feel we don't deserve certain good things. As for us, we were not made to enjoy. I remember I was talking to someone, the person said that, look, mommy, I have, since, since I, 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 I mean myself, I came to realize that, oh, this is me. I, I have never laughed. I am always crying. I am always sad. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I am always sad. And because of this thing, wherever I go, people reject me. Nobody wants to come close to me. I can be with somebody first week everything goes so well the second week then it is one problem or the other nobody wants me hallelujah I believe I am talking or speaking to someone hallelujah and so it makes you think you are not good enough but I want to tell you this morning my dear brothers and sisters my dear fathers my dear mothers I want to tell you that when past carries when all grace comes upon you when the divine influence upon their heart and its reflection its manifestation comes upon you you will become a different person. You become a new person. You become qualified in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I am here to tell you that you qualify. I am here to tell you that you are well able. I am here to tell you that you can make it because of past courage, because of the grace of God. Hallelujah. Don't look down on yourself. Amen? Don't look down on yourself. You can make it because of the grace of God. Don't belittle yourself. Don't belittle yourself. Hallelujah. The spies, the spies, the ten spies that were sent to go and, 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 and spy the, uh, the land of Jericho, they said that, look, the people were, we saw the people as giants and we ourselves, we were like grasshoppers before them. And when you read the scripture, it says, and so were we in their eyes. May you not belittle yourself for the enemy to also belittle you. May you not look down on yourself for the devil to also look down on you. May you not think you do not qualify for people to make you feel unqualified. Because of the grace of God, you qualify, my dear brother. Because of the grace of God, you qualify, my dear sister. Because of the grace of God, you qualify, my dear mother, my dear father, my dear grandmother, grandfather, you qualify. You qualify. It is not too late to enjoy the graces of God. It is not too late to receive the graces of God. Hallelujah. The good thing is that the graces of God is not for just the young. It is not just for the old. It is for all who avail themselves. It is for all who sit under the, 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 the grace of God. It is for all who sit under the feet of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pascal is for all who received the saving grace of God. Pascaris is for all who open up, who position themselves like Noah. Hallelujah! Noah positioned himself so well that he found grace in the eyes of God. May you find grace in the eyes of God as you position yourself well. Hallelujah! Amen! Amen. Yes. If we want to look at the facts. Yes. If we want to look at all that we are going through, all that is happening around us, we can say that yes, we don't even deserve love. We don't even deserve the goodness of God. We do not even deserve favor. We do not deserve certain things because we think, oh, as for us, we don't know anybody. As for us, where we come from, we are from very far, and so we, we just stay in our own corner. Hallelujah. But I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will receive the grace of God. You will receive Pascaris. Hallelujah. You will receive Pascaris in Jesus' name. Amen. When we look at Mary, the mother of Jesus, in Luke chapter 1, you realize that Mary... She was just a, 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 an ordinary girl uh, who was a virgin, who had been betrothed to Joseph, who was getting ready to marry, and then an angel visited her. The grace of God found her. The grace of God located her. And the angel said, Hail Mary, you are full of grace. 
and she gave birth to a child full of grace. Be full of grace this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Be full of grace. Grace located Mary. And because of that, she was but the, the, the angels are blessed at thou among women. You are blessed among all women because grace has found you. Because grace has located you. Mary positioned herself after the angel gave the word. So how can this be? That the Holy Spirit will come and overshadow you, and the power from on high will come on you, and you will conceive. And to the glory of God, Mary, who was a nobody, became the mother of Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Redeemer. May Pascalis locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. May all grace locate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to go to the book of Esther. To the book of Esther. Hallelujah. Esther was a peasant girl who was hiding in her own corner, but grace and favor located her. Hallelujah. Grace and favor located her. Um, um, Esther was living with the cousin. Some people say the uncle, but he realized that um, Mordecai was the um, um, Esther's father's um, brother or her cousin. So, Mordecai was taking care of Esther. And the king, Ahasuerus, had a banquet. There was a party. And everybody was happy. Everybody was at the party. The king was very, very excited. And the king had a very beautiful wife called Vashti. And the king said, Ah, it is time for me to show off my wife, women, wives, we are the honor, the glory of our husbands. Hallelujah. That is why husbands, you must take good care of your wives. Hallelujah. Emotionally, uh, whatever way you can to make your wife look good because she's your glory. If your wife goes out there and she looks some way, it is you. It is a reflection of you. And so when you sit down in the house and, and you this and you that, and you are not helping your wife out, it is still you when you go out, you know. And because the, 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 king, the queen Vashti was so beautiful, was good looking and everything. The king was proud of her. He said, my wife, it is time for my wife to come and show herself. Come and show her beauty. But Vashti was also happy and excited somewhere. She ignored the king. And so it means she, she brought disgrace to the king. She didn't honor the word of the king. And it was said that ah, if your wife did not honor you, how can others also honor you? Okay, the law is that. Queen Vashti, Queen Vashti must be put away. And so let us, you know, have another, something like a beauty contest so that the king will choose the woman that he wants. And so announcement went on around the town and everywhere. And then Esther's uncle or cousin Mordecai got to know about this. And he went and said, Esther, you are going, hallelujah, you are going for this contest. Esther said, ah, okay, my uncle has said I should go, let me obey. And when she was going, because she, wa she wasn't qualified to even go there, and so the uncle said, look, as you go, don't reveal your identity, don't let them know that you are a Jew. Esther said, yes, boss, I hear you. And so she obeyed what Mordecai told her. And so she went for the banquet. And so when you come to Esther chapter 2 verse 9, it is very long, so I just picked certain scriptures for us to read. When you come to Esther chapter 2 verse 9, Bible says that, And the maiden pleased Hagar. The maiden here is Esther. And the maiden pleased Hagar and obtained his favor and obtained his favor and he speedily gave 
her the things for her purification and her portion of food and the seven chosen maids to be given her from the king's palace. And he removed her and her maids to the best apartment in the haram. Hallelujah. And so the one that was supposed to take care of all the girls, all the virgins that had come for their beauty contest, because the Bible says they had to be prepared. They had to prepare them. Hallelujah. To meet the king. But the Bible says that when the, the, um, the, the head guy, the, the, um, he was um, um, a eunuch of the king, when he saw Esther, Esther found favor before him. The Bible says he was pleased with her. And he, she, she found favor. And so he gave her all that she needed. He, she didn't know anybody in the palace. She didn't have any connection there. As a matter of fact, she was hiding her identity. I am speaking to somebody. That interview that you are supposed to go to, that place that you are supposed to go, the people you are supposed to meet, you don't know anybody there. You don't have any connections. And people are telling you they have this connection there. They know this person there. They know that person there. You have the grace of God. May Pascalis locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. May all grace locate you like Esther. She went there hiding her identity. Like Esther, she didn't know anybody in the palace. But God connected her to the right person. May the Lord connect you to the right people who will come to your aid in the name of Jesus. For God is able. Hallelujah. Our God is able to grant us all grace. To bestow all grace upon us. So that in all things and at all times we will find help, we will find favor in times of need. Hallelujah. Amen. Esther was given the best, or even the maids, they took the best one for her. And the Bible says that, look, she was moved from among the people and she was taken to the best apartment. Oh, may God favor you. May favor locate you. May the grace of God find you. And may your location even be changed in the name of Jesus Christ. Our God can do all things. When with God, all things are possible. What is impossible with man is possible with God. Hallelujah. Amen. I know of somebody who was not married and was in the house and people were like, won't you go out? Won't you do this? Won't you do that? You have to do this. You have to do that. She didn't know what to do. But somebody just came to visit. She was even staying with someone. Somebody just came to visit. And she, by serving water, just water, favor located her. She found her prince charming. Hallelujah. Amen. May favor locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And then when you go to 15b, Esther 2, 15b. And Esther won favor in the sight of all who saw her. And Esther found favor in the sight of all who found her. May favor locate you wherever you go. In the name of Jesus Christ. At the marketplace, may favor locate you. At your place of work, may favor locate you. Hallelujah. Before your bosses, may favor locate you. Among your colleagues, may favor locate you. For may you find favor before your teachers. May you find favor before your lecturers. May you find favor wherever you go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, if a decision is to be made, oh, may that decision be made to your favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive pastoris, pastoris to become. May it be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. May favor, the favor of God, may it come upon your children that wherever they go, they will be favored in the name of Jesus Christ. May favor come upon your husband. May favor come upon your wife. May favor come upon your business. May favor come upon your career. May favor come upon all your endeavors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Esther, Esther found favor in the sight of all. Not some. All. All. May you find favor even before your enemies. 
Those who you think hate you, may you find favor before them and may they do you good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When you go to chapter 10, chapter 10a, Bible says that, so Esther was taken to King Ahasuerus into his royal palace in the tenth month. So Esther was taken to King Ahasuerus into his royal palace in the tenth month. Esther won the competition. Hallelujah. And it was in the tenth month. We are in the tenth month. May God give you victory in the name of Jesus Christ in all your endeavors. May God give you victory in your warfare. May God give you victory. Some of you, you have fought for too long. You are always fighting. You are always battling one thing or the other. May God give you victory in this tenth month as Pascal comes upon you, as the grace of God comes upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, Esther was taken to King Ahasuerus into his royal palace in the 10th month. And then when you come to the verse 17, and the king loved Esther more than all the maidens. And the king loved Esther more than all the maidens so that he set the royal crown on her head. He set the royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Hallelujah. The king loved Esther more than all the maidens. I don't think Esther was the most beautiful. But because of the grace of God, because of the grace of God, the king loved Esther more than all. May the grace to beautify come upon you in the name of Jesus. May the grace that makes one look beautiful, may the grace that makes one glow, may it come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the grace that causes people to be attractive, may it come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. May the grace that causes people to want to come near you for positive reasons, may it come upon you and your household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The King Lord Esther more than all and so she was made queen hallelujah amen and so now we are talking about queen esther esther was moved from the place of being called hadassah a creeping plant and nobody nobody noticing her she was moved from that level it didn't end there she went for the beauty contest it didn't end there. She found favor. She was given the best of treatment. She was given the best of food. They went on diet. If you read the, 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 the scripture, well, they went on diet. She was given the best of diet. She was given the best of oils, the best of perfumes, and all, all everything. And she was given what the king loved, what the king needed. May Pascalis locate you that you will receive aid. For that which you need, that particular thing that you need, may you receive aid, may you receive help in the name of Jesus Christ as Pascaris locates you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And then as you read the book of Esther, you realize that just as Esther had been made queen, and she was enjoying her position as queen. Then word got to Esther. That's Esther. Your uncle and the Jews, they are putting on sackcloth. And whatever and whatever. Oh, why? What is it? Esther said, okay, take, let me help them. Let me help them. Take clothes. Go and give it to my uncle. And go and give it to the Jews that they should put on those clothes. They shouldn't put on sack clothes. And then they took it. Mordecai said, look, I don't need those things. Some of us, when God puts us in, in certain positions, we forget that we have been put there for a reason. 
Esther said, I, I am cool here. I am relaxed. Why are you people putting on sackcloth? Okay, put on the sackcloth. Some of us, even when God says we should do certain things, we want to do those things in our way. That was what Esther was trying to do. But Mordecai said, we don't need it. Then Esther said, okay, go and ask Mordecai what the problem is. And then the servant came back and said, that, look, somebody has risen up among us in the king, in the palace. And the person wants to destroy, wants to kill all the Jews. An action must be made. So your uncle says you must go before the king. To go and ask for his favor. To go and ask so that we will be free from this bondage. And Esther told him that. Look, you know there is a law here. I can't go before the king. It has been over 30 days since the king called me. If the king does not stretch his, his, his uh, um, um, royal scepter to you, you cannot go before him. Mordecai said, that. look, do you think that because you are in the palace, when it is time for all of us to die, you, you won't die. It is going to happen to you. But I want you to know that deliverance will come from somewhere else. If you don't do it, God will use somebody. Hallelujah. God did not just replace um, Esther with um, um, Vashti with Esther. No, it is for a purpose. But if you think that it was by your might or it was by your beauty, then my daughter, you sit there. Deliverance will come from somewhere else. And Esther said that, no, I won't sit down. All of you go and pray. I am also going to pray and call on God. We are going to have a three-day fast. And after that, I will go before the king. And if I perish, I perish. And if I perish, I perish. And so Esther, she needed the grace to fast. She fasted and she went before the king. And so I'm reading the chapter 5, verse 2. And when the, when the king, and when the king saw Esther the queen standing in the court, she obtained favor in his sight and held out to her the golden scepter that was in his hand. So Esther drew near and touched the tip of the scepter. And so Esther gained favor once again before the king after fasting and praying the grace of God came upon her. Amen? And the place that she could not go to, she was able to go. May the grace to go places come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Where others cannot go, where others are not allowed to go, oh, may the grace of God find you. May the grace of God locate you that you will be able to go, that you will be able to enter in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The story goes on and on. I'm reading chapter 6 verse 1 because of time. I will just cut everything. Chapter 6 verse 1. On that night, the king could not sleep. And he ordered that the book of the book of memorable deeds, the chronicles, be brought. They were read before the king. And so, yes, Esther went before the king, and the king said that, Esther, what do you want me to do for you? I can give you even half of my kingdom. But to them, Mordecai, Esther's uncle, Esther's um, 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 guardian, was always sitting in front of the gate. And then when we read the book of um, um, Remembrance, the king got to know that some years back, there were three people in the, in, uh, in the palace who planned to kill the king? And it was Mordecai who revealed their secret. And when investigations were done, it was true. And so those people were killed. After those people were killed, Haman was promoted. It doesn't add up. It was Mordecai who brought the news. But after those people were killed, Haman was promoted. Any promotion that is yours. 
We pray in the name of Jesus that that promotion will come to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That blessing that is yours. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that it will come to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Haman was promoted. And when Haman was promoted to Haman didn't like Mordecai because people were giving him fans. People were greeting him. People were bowing down to him. But he saw that Mordecai was not doing that. He said that no. And so although every other person was bowing down to him, he didn't see the reason why Mordecai was not bowing down to him. And so he brought it upon himself that look, I'm going to destroy all the Jews. I'm going to make sure that all the Jews die. And around this same time, the king could not sleep. So he asked for the book of remembrance. And when the book of remembrance was brought, he realized that, ah, Mordecai did this. And so Haman walked in and he said, what can be done for the one who pleases the king? Haman thought it was him. And so he said, ah, let me wear the king's clothes. Let me do this. Let me do that. And the king said, hurry up. Go and do it to Mordecai. And so Mordecai was put on the king's carrier, the horse. He was put, he wore the king's robe. He wore everything. And Haman was now following, following him and saying, this is the one the king wants to honor. This is the one the king wants to honor. And so what he was expecting Mordecai to do for him, he rather now was doing it for Mordecai. Hallelujah. And we uh, this morning, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that as all grace locates you, as pastors locate you, whatever honor that must come to you, may it come to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is my prayer that the king, whoever is supposed to be a blessing to you, whatever is rightly yours, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that God's grace will locate you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whoever is supposed to remember you regarding that job, whoever is supposed to remember you regarding that promotion, whoever is supposed to remember you regarding that contract, that partnership, whoever is supposed to remember you regarding that marriage, whoever is supposed, whoever is owing you that has to pay, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That may they not sleep in the mighty name of Jesus Christ until they do that which they have to do. Some of you, you are it is time for your promotion, and others are sitting on those promotions. We pray that grace will find you, grace will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, your documents are in offices, they are in places that has to be to, to be to be. Sorry, your documents are in places that have to be approved and they are not being approved. May pastors locate you. May all grace locate you. May the favor of God locate you. And may your document be picked up and approved in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Some of you, you are in court. You are innocent. May the favor of God locate you and may you be acquitted and discharged in the name of Jesus. There are people in prisons who do not have people to speak for them. They are innocent. They have done nothing. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the favor of God will locate you. Whoever is supposed to help you, may they not have their peace. May they not sleep until they do that which they are supposed to do for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the grace and the favor of God locate you. May pastors be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is my prayer that whatever God has destined for you, that people are sitting on. Oh, Oh, may the Lord, may the Lord and the graces of God locate you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's be on our feet. Mordecai was just sitting at the gate of the palace. He didn't even dream of going into the palace. When you go further, you realize that now that the Jews had their freedom and you also realize that Mordecai was now the next to the king. Mordecai didn't know. He didn't even know he was qualified. He just wanted the daughter to be at the palace. 
He just pushed the daughter. He just helped the daughter. Sometimes when we help people, it comes back to be a blessing unto us. May the grace of God locate us. Hallelujah. Amen. And some of us, when God blesses us, it is for us to help others. It is for us to bring deliverance to others, to our family, to people. Hallelujah. And so may the grace to help others come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ so that when you are blessed, you will not forget others. Some of you, you pray, you make promises. Oh God, when you do this for me, in fact, I will never forget KHM. Ah, if you do this, I will never forget yourself. If you do this, I will help the poor. If you do this, I will help the needy. If you do this, I will do that. But when those blessings come, we forget. I pray, just ask the grace to achieve, the grace to become comes upon you. May you have the grace to also help others. May you have the grace to be a blessing. Esther became a blessing. She didn't sit in the palace alone to enjoy. She had to fast a queen. She went without food and she fought for the freedom of her people. She fought and because of that, her uncle who helped her even go into the palace became next to the king. As you help others, the grace, as the grace of God comes upon you to help others, you will also be blessed. The blessings will also come upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When you read, it says that for Mordecai, the um, verse chapter 10, verse 3, my final scripture, for Mordecai the Jew was next to King Ahasuerus and great among the Jews and was a favorite with the multitude of his brethren. For he sought the welfare of his people and spoke peace to his whole race. May that grace come upon you. The grace to become the favorite of people. Hallelujah. As you also help in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Let us pray. We have heard the word of the Lord. The grace has carries to qualify. We are qualified. Mordecai never knew he was going to be next to the king. Esther never knew that she was going to be a queen. But they made a move and the grace of God located them. The grace of God came upon them. Hallelujah. And they became queen. They became the great. Hallelujah. They delivered their people. We are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mary found favor before God. Mary found favor before God and she became the mother of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. She was full of grace. We are praying that Lord let all grace come upon us. The grace to qualify, let it come upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, Lord, let the grace to qualify come upon us. Help us to position ourselves well. Mary positioned herself well. Esther positioned herself, oh God. Mordecai positioned himself and they all found favor. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will cause your favor to locate us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let your favor, your favor come upon us. Pastor, we so God, past carry so God to qualify and let it come upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, maybe you have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I talk about the saving grace, Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, we are praying if you want to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, if you want Jesus Jesus to be the Lord of your life so that you can experience all the graces we are talking about. I want you to say this prayer after me. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to say this after me because hallelujah because as we are in this world, hallelujah, as we are in this world, nobody is promised of tomorrow. Life is short. Hallelujah. Life is short. And death is sure. Hallelujah. And sin is the cause. But we thank God that Jesus Christ is the cure. Please say this after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for coming to die for me. I thank you for washing my sins with your blood. I am a sinner. I come before you. 
have mercy on me. Forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me of all my sins. I know, Jesus, that you are the cure to all the consequences of sin. Therefore, I come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God has forgiven you your sins. If you are in KHLC, any of the pastors, and they will talk to you. If you are not in KHL, we have forms online that you can fill and we can get back to you. If you are in a church or wherever you are, go to a Bible-believing church. Tell them you have accepted Jesus and they will help you grow in the Lord. God bless you. If you have your offering, if you have your tithe, if you have your seed of faith, you can lift it up before the Lord. Hallelujah. You can lift it up before the Lord as I'm speaking. Maybe you are being touched to be a blessing unto Kingdom Harvest Best Ministries. Don't hesitate to do that. We have our Therismos coming, our touch lights um, 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 scheme. We do. Um, we have Therismos every um, December and we go to the prisons, we go to, we bring in doctors, we bring, we give food, we give clothes, we do medical checks, eye checks, and all that for people, for needy communities. Amen. If you want to be a blessing to this cause, our Momo line is there, our account details are there, you can just write Therismos on it, and it will be used for that purpose. If you want to help, in building KHL, you can also be a blessing unto us. God bless you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have brought our offerings, our tithes, our seeds unto you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you bless it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray, Lord, as we have brought our seeds. We pray in the name of Jesus that your graces will come upon us also in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The grace is to become. The grace is to do. We pray that it will be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you rebuke the devourer for our sakes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We pray in the name of Jesus as we go through this week. We pray that the week shall be a week of blessing. Pastoris will be your portion. May the Lord deliver you from all woes. May the Lord deliver you from all evil. May the protection, may the graces of God, may the preservation grace of the Lord be your portion and your, that of your families. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless.